Good morning, Guardians. Briar Rabbit here. Today, I've got a lot of stuff I want to talk about, but before we get into news, I wanted to talk about the gameplay just a little bit. Now, this is Destiny Alpha footage. So, before Destiny ever came out, they ran an alpha, they ran a beta. This is alpha footage. So, way back when, uh, I did play that alpha, and you'll notice I am playing as a warlock. So, Briar Rabbit, day one warlock confirmed. Okay, so why am I showing alpha footage. Why do I have alpha footage in this video? Well, it's because we are getting so close to the May 18th reveal of the gameplay for Destiny 2. Now, obviously, it's May 1st. It's 17 days away. It's very exciting. Uh, and I got to tell you guys, I was, in fact, invited to LA for the gameplay reveal, which means two things. First of all, I'll be in the audience when they reveal it for the first time, uh, which will be very hype and very exciting. As a Destiny fanboy, I can confirm that I'm really excited to be there for that. Uh, but I'll also get a chance to get my hands on Destiny 2 on the same day. So it's kind of a double whammy that day. First, we get to see the gameplay, uh, and second, we get to play it. So. After May 18th, I'm sure I'll have plenty of videos talking about the differences between Destiny 1, Destiny 2, talking about what I like, what I don't like, what's changed, what's stayed the same, uh, and everything in between. I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited to learn all about Destiny 2, what the changes are going to be. It should be a fantastic day, and it's frankly a fantastic opportunity for me. Uh, I got to tell you guys, I'm really excited for this on a personal and on a professional level. This is the first time I've ever been invited to an event like this. Also, another great, uh, amazing opportunity that I'm going to have is to actually meet the crew from DCP, the Destiny Community Podcast crew. I'm going to get to meet them in person for the first time. And that is very exciting to me. I've spent a ton of time with these guys online, right? Whether it be on the actual show or raiding or playing the Crucible, there has been a ton of you know, relationships built up with these people over time. And this will be the first time that I get to meet them in meat space, in real life. And uh, I got to tell you, I'm really excited uh, to meet Miss 5000 Watts, Tefty Tef, Patrick, and Pope. Uh, that's going to be really awesome. I can't wait to give everybody great big hugs and just share some personal time with them. Uh, that to me is almost more exciting than actually getting gameplay of Destiny 2. Almost. <laughs> uh, so another thing about Destiny 2, the gameplay reveal will show an early build of Destiny 2, right? Uh, not a final version. Uh, another reason I decided to run alpha footage for this is because you can see some of the small differences that were in the alpha compared to what actually came out in, in September with Destiny's full release. You'll see, the, uh, most notably, the radar is different, but there are other some other small differences as well. Weapon balancing was a huge difference. There were major weapon balance changes, uh, specifically to hand cannons, I remember, uh, in the, well, from the alpha to the beta and then to the full release. So it's going to be really fun to get our hands on Destiny 2, but any complaints we have about weapon balance or anything like that, weapon feel, anything like that can very easily be changed between the gameplay reveal, uh, maybe if they have an alpha, maybe we know they're having a beta, and then when the game actually comes out. So all of that kind of stuff can definitely change in between all those opportunities the community has to play the game before the game actually comes out. So it'll be interesting to see that stuff. What I'm most interested though, is how Bungie has decided to manage inventory, character level, light level, how the weapons work, how the weapon inventory works, how our armor stats work. Um, I think there's gonna be some big changes in Destiny 2. Uh, I just have that feeling. A lot of the reason I don't speculate too highly on Destiny 2, I'll, I'll speculate a little bit on the story based on what we've learned from uh, images that they've released and posters and promotional art. Uh, but I haven't really speculated too much on how the gameplay will change just because we don't have any information on it. Bungie has remained completely silent about how they're going to change uh, Destiny 2. We don't know if we don't know if you know hand cannons will remain as primaries. We don't know if there will continue to be a primary, uh, special, and heavy weapon slot. You know, we we don't know any of that. So it's all about 
just waiting to see what happens when we actually get our hands on the game. And I think one of the primary concerns I have with speculating about how this stuff is going to work in Destiny 2 is that the paradigm is going to shift. Every, everybody's making predictions or asking about opinions based on how Destiny works. But Destiny 2 is a brand new game. Sure, it's a sequel to Destiny, but because Destiny 2 is a brand new game, things can change dramatically. So if I make a prediction about, you know, our shotgun's gonna be balanced in Destiny 2, well, I, I don't know. If I make a prediction on how armor is gonna work in Destiny 2, I, I, I don't know. I don't know any of this stuff because we haven't seen any gameplay. We have no hints at what is actually gonna happen. And I will be honest with you, Based on how they are treating the the reveal and the way they're rolling out information about Destiny 2, my suspicion is there are very significant changes. They've gotten rid of all of our inventory. They're getting rid of all of our supers and our abilities and our, our light levels. So all of that stuff is being reset. So Bungie has drawn a line in the sand. And once you cross that line and go into Destiny 2, it's a full reset. It's a full refresh. Bungie started with a blank page for Destiny 2. Sure, they've they've got the story, they got the fact that we are guardians and that we have cool abilities, but I mean, we're not even gonna start off with ghosts. We're not even gonna start off with special abilities. We're gonna have a whole new set of weapons and armor to choose from. None of the stuff from Destiny 1 is moving forward. That is a clean slate for Bungie to have developed Destiny 2 with. And that's what's most exciting to me is that they have now three years of data on how people like to play Destiny to form the new game that people are going to be playing. So to predict how things are going to work, how the vault is going to be managed, how our inventory is going to be managed, or uh, how strikes are going to work, or how missions are going to work, or how raids are going to work. How, is there going to be trials in Destiny 2 vanilla? I don't know. I don't know any of this. We're going to have to just wait and see because any any history that we have with Destiny 1 has been colored by the by the base game that Destiny is and how hard it was to develop for, or how easy it was to develop for. Destiny 2 has been developed from the ground up with the history of Destiny 1 in mind. And that's very exciting to me because it really feels like the future of Destiny 2, or Destiny as a platform, is wide open. Uh, so I can't wait to get my hands on on May 18th. I can't wait to actually watch the reveal. I'll be in the audience watching the reveal. Then I'll get to play Destiny 2 on May 18th. You can expect uh, a lot of information coming out of every YouTuber and Twitch streamer that's there for sure. Uh, and I will tr really try and focus on what's different, what's the same, uh, and how everything feels compared to Destiny 1. I would expect that the game will feel similar as far as shooting a weapon goes, right? Uh, Bungie is excellent at making first-person shooters on the console feel fantastic. Uh, and we'll be getting a look at the PC version and the PS4 version at the reveal, which I think is actually really exciting too, because if they feel confident enough to show that PC version off now, then they've still got a lot of time to fine tune that and to optimize it. So that's also very exciting that they, they feel confident enough in that PC version they don't think this is just a shitty port to push off onto PC customers. If that's a case, if that's the case, if they can actually get a really great version of Destiny 2 on the PC, that opens up the community to a whole nother enormous group of potential players. And as a content creator, of course, that's very, very, <laughs> very interesting. Um, but just as a player, that's awesome as well. Just having more people involved in the Destiny community, I think is fantastic. So I'm really excited that they're they're gonna have the PC version playable at the event. They're gonna have the PS4 version playable. Uh, the PS4 version, of course, is going to have the same sort of uh, exclusive content that we saw in Destiny 1. And I know that Xbox players are really kind of miffed about this, but to be honest with you, I would expect this deal is a 10 year deal. I, I would suspect that. I don't have any proof to back that up, but just looking at the kind of deals that Activision makes for these things, uh, specifically with Call of Duty, 
10 years seems to be about the the limit of those deals. So that would pretty much be Destiny's lifespan. Destiny 1, Destiny 2, Destiny 3. We know that Destiny is a 10-year game series, or that was the original goal for Destiny, was to be a 10-year game series. And that lines up pretty well with what we know from how Activision runs these kind of exclusivity deals. Uh, hopefully, it won't be as impactful as it was, especially in year one of Destiny with the the Hawkmoon being one of the most fantastic weapons in the game and then being completely nerfed by the time Xbox users got it. But we'll see, what can we do? We gotta wait and see until Destiny 2 comes out. I'm really excited to get my hands on Destiny 2. And I gotta thank you guys as a community, you guys who watch and upvote my videos and come over to Twitch and watch on Twitch and uh, sit there and have conversations with me over on Twitch. The reason I get to go see Destiny 2 early is because of you and people like you who have supported this channel and the Twitch channel for years now. And I gotta say, I really appreciate that, guys. Uh, it's just one of those things I can't really put into words how grateful I am uh, that you guys would give me this opportunity that because people come to this channel and watch the videos and like the, the videos, I've been given an opportunity, you know, to go to LA, to fly out to LA, to meet Bungie devs and to see the fellow co-hosts of the Destiny Community Podcast in person and to play Destiny 2 for the first time, you know, months before it actually comes out. That is amazing and that's because of you guys and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for everything you do. I really do appreciate it. That's going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you guys next time.